Now I wanted to do a little video to show you how to open up a oyster in case you don't know how. It's always a bit tricky. Hello culture eaters! These oysters that I picked are called Lucky Limes. So what you will need is obviously some oysters and you will need a dish towel. This is to protect you so you do not hurt yourself. And finally, you will need a shucking knife. You can always try a screwdriver, but that's a great way to possibly injure yourself. So I really recommend that you can get an oyster knife. They are really cheap. So let's look a little bit at the oyster anatomy. We have an oyster shell. Inside we have the oyster with a little bit of brine juice. And we want to try and save as much of that brine juice as possible. So the oyster inside is attached to the shell somewhere on top here and on the bottom as well. So when you open it, the idea is to not injure the oyster inside. The edge here is very flat, practically seamless. So this is not the best place to try and open up an oyster. What you want to do is go on this side where there's a little bit of an hinge. So what we are going to do, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to do it this way. I will place the oyster on the dishcloth and hold it down this way. This will give me a little bit more leverage and it will also protect you if the knife goes. Hopefully it will go under and it will protect you. So you want to try to find the lever. It's usually a little bit deeper than you think and just try to get in there and see if you can get into the oysters. Sometimes you have to wiggle a little bit to find your way in. I know I'm inside. I felt a crunch a little bit, so I know I'm inside the oyster. So what I'm going to do now is just twist a little bit, see if I can pop it open. Did you hear that pop? You can see the lid is kind of moving around. So I'm just going to try and loosen up a little bit around the hinge. I don't want to open it yet because, like I said, the oyster is attached on top. I will take this sharp end that has a bit like a knife teeth and run it really across the top of the shell to disconnect the actual oyster from the shell. And you really want to run it along the edge so you don't pierce the oyster. I think I got it. Now, the idea is to try to lose as the least amount of juice as possible. We're still a bit attached. I'm going to wiggle it over here. There we go. It's going to pop open. And there is your oyster. If you're going to serve it straight up on a bed of ice, I would clean up a bit the edge from the dirt with the cloth. But, you know, that's part of eating oysters. You're going to get a little bit of gunk. But I wanted to save this for a recipe, so I am going to place this in a bowl. Again, I did my best to not lose any juice. I'm going to right away run some out a little bit. And like we said, the oyster is attached on the bottom. So again, same idea, sharp teeth. I want to run carefully on the bottom to detach the oyster from the bottom of the shell without injuring the oyster itself as much as possible. There we go. Kind of got it. And the oyster is now detached. I will pour this right here because we are going to use it for the recipe. These oysters will be cooked. But again, this is the shell you would serve it on. And there you go. That is how an oyster is shucked. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to the channel. Make sure that you hit the notification bell to be alerted when new videos come in. And my favorite part is hearing from you. So go down there in the description box just below in the comments and leave me a comment. It's one of the favorite things about being on YouTube is hearing from you. And until then, I will see you with some new videos very soon. I wish you a fabulous day. Bye.